menorah as two religiously connected things in Judaism. A, in the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, they would light a menorah every day. And then there's the miracle of Hanukkah, which we have a menorah. But the common denominator is, in Judaism, menorah represents light, adding light. Over the years, it also came to represent Jewish pride, as Jewish symbol. Synagogues, Jewish centers, Israel. Um, over our history until this very day, we have a menorah as a sign of Jewish pride. It's usually out in the public to represent, I'm proud of who I am. And uh, it's not only a Jewish message today, it's such a universal symbol, but the message of Hanukkah, where we brought light one light, and the next night there are light two, to say, I'm not only proud of who I am, but I'm the one who wants to share light and expand on my sharing and expand on my good doing. when someone does something to a menorah because besides the act itself you know as a student on campus this is your symbol of Jewish pride imagine someone comes and acts like a religious symbol it's also it's a, it hurts more because in college is a time where students have an opportunity to grow and to learn about others um, or lock themselves up and like not learn about anyone besides their circle of friends and what students do especially when it's done by a student it's even more sad because he was an opportunity to learn about others but you took the opportunity to disrespect others so whatever the intent was, you know, people always say, was it a hate crime, was it not? And I believe, unfortunately, it was done a couple of times and different people, I think, feel have different intentions. In the most recent time, I feel people have stood up to it. They came, they apologized, they keep in touch with me, they're meeting, they're trying to learn, they're trying to see whatever they can do to understand why it's hurtful. Like you're writing a paper, they're writing their own papers. Whereas earlier in the year when it was done, the students never even came by, reached out. It's like, so it's even more hurtful. Like, so it means, so that's a lot of what it, happens not only the attention of the person it's the effect on people where you feel your symbol is knocked down someone was someone was not sensitive to what's important to you not only not sensitive but someone was not caring you know today on campus you know people get offended about everything but right? nothing you can do but there's another thing of someone actually physically taking and breaking someone else's sense of pride of their faith of course they are struck by both of them very much so, extremely much so. Um, um, there's two parts to me. One part obviously is very hurt and upset and disappointed, especially more by the first and the second because the first time it happened in the fall, so blatantly took and broke the tire piece, took the time, it wasn't easy. And you could see in broad daylight, it wasn't like two o'clock in the morning, we went from bars. Mm -hmm. it doesn't make it any more right, but it was 6 a.m., 7 a.m., broad daylight, taking the time and calmly walking away. It's hurtful. Sometimes having cameras more hurtful because you see the act. Um, whereas the second time I was just as hurt, but you see with someone just right before, you know, 1.30 a.m. closing bulbs and they pulled out the window and cracked it. 
and immediately the next day we're already here speaking like feeling bad owning up to it immediately so at the initial reaction they're both perverts but, but as time went on the recent act has been more of a growing thing for so many people whereas the first one is just the pain um, at the same time I'm not one I'm not a victim I don't believe in being a victim I don't believe in walking around taking people out to get me oh my god go complain go demonstrate all day I use it as an impetus to grow stronger in two points a within Jewish life to create a stronger Jewish life a brighter and greater menorah and also to use the opportunity to reach out what do we have to do on campus to build bridges that people should communicate more students should communicate more to understand why might something be more sensitive to another that I should be more careful I think two major things I learned from me. Number one, obviously in the Jewish community there's a lot of pain and people are very upset. Students do feel hurt, so a survey is done. Students do feel personally affected. People feel their security has been uh, compromised. People feel less safe when these things happen. At the same time, I have to say, the community has come together. It's unbelievable. I got calls in the Newman Center from all faiths, all walks, all types. What can we do to help you? What can we do? Fraternity, sorority, what can we do? I was blown away. I said, wow, this is the real community. This is what we have to focus on. This is amazing. This is unbelievable. What can we do to do more of this? Let's not wait for minority to be targeted to do that. How can we bring together so many cultures and faiths together year round? And sometimes it's in struggle that we see unity. What can we do to bring unity even without struggle? I mean, I have to tell you what the menorah was knocked down. It wasn't only champagne. You Google the story, it was covered by media throughout the world, the AP picked up the story. It wasn't like, it's a big deal. Because on college campuses today, unfortunately, there's too much incense to, you know, targeted acts. Yeah. And, uh, so the story that happened both times was covered in media from here to Australia. Yes, 100%. Again, I'm not a negative person. I think Illinois is a great place, but I definitely Many places across the world it's very important to be honest. I need to say that is we all close it for some time. College used to be a time where we take down laws to learn about other people. And unfortunately a lot of us come to college surrounding us by those that we don't want to talk to about. And it's a pity because how are we gonna grow once we get out of the world? Because when we go to the real world, they're not gonna be surrounded by mental friends. They're gonna to have to work with all kinds of people. So definitely I think I'm trying to work time with see what we can do to help people understand and help people grow from the things to make sure these things never happen again. So it's not just about us, it's not just about Mama, it's not just about the Torah. It's about a greater campus community to create a more tolerant environment that should be more sensitive. And again, sensitive is a very heavy word, you know? I think people shouldn't be too hypersensitive because then we get nothing done, you know? Things are going to happen, but there's a difference between the second time I thought it was more ignorance out of anything I think most people don't see the menorah um, as symbolic as it really is I think they just think oh like Hanukkah or something fun like a Christmas tree kind of thing I don't think they necessarily associate it with uh, the menorah being the equivalent to the cross mm -hmm. so I think it's just ignorance and I think it was just a very drunken bad ordeal um, personally, I, I do find it offensive, and a lot of us do, because we don't know what intention people are doing it with. We never know if they're doing it because they feel negative towards Jewish people, or if we don't know if they're just doing it just to do it. Well, it's not in my friend group. I'm not friends with religiously intolerant people. I think my friend group is just so diverse that I won't let it. I will cut those people out. Um, there's no place where, there's no reason why in the world that we live in, why anyone should be intolerant. You don't like it, you don't have to, but you don't have to go out and like harm them or what they believe in. Um, I definitely had a conversation with my parents. Um, it definitely reminded me how naive I can be about being a Jewish person in the United States. Um, I'm not a very religious person, but sometimes you know you say you're Jewish and you always get like that weird look or something like that, and just it's just a reminder that there are these discriminations, these minor discriminations that do happen all the time. 
and you don't really feel like you're being attacked until a symbol, a symbol of your religion is being attacked, I guess. It would be to educate yourself, definitely. I think being educated about religions and about other people's religions and what's important, I think that's the most powerful thing. I think education can trump everything.